out here striking fish today. Uh, our goal is to catch one about 30 pounds. So hopefully Matt and I get it, and we'll see you there. Rough. It's a rocky ride. Ace and I just got up into the Georgetown area in DC. We're gonna go up towards the Three Sisters and Fletcher's Boathouse. We're just slowly trolling up here and checking out the graph, looking for any schools to striper. We've never done this before, so we don't actually know what we're doing. We're just pretending. <laughs> but hopefully we can run into a striper. My buddy Chris is out here, up at Fletcher's Boathouse. He said that they've caught one striper and one gigantic catfish on a big swim bee. So I'm gonna definitely try throwing a big swim bait around and what are you throwing? Alabama rig? No, I got a jerk bait on. Big savage gear jerk bait. And I'm gonna throw an Alabama rig too. So there are a couple regulations we have to stick by today since it's not striper season until the 15th. We're gonna have to close the barbs on the hooks, and then if I'm throwing the Alabama rig, only two hooks. So what I did was I cut the hooks off the other three and just slam the Kitex up the jig head. First cast striper. Here we go. So the shad are also running up here pretty heavily. Ace and I just saw a big school of them about 70 feet out in front of us. They were like, I don't know how far they were suspended off the bottom, but you could see the shadow and then a bunch of little like fish marks on the graph. It's pretty sweet. Ace and I are gonna move. We're gonna run up the river a little bit more. Not too far, but just to where the current starts to be a little bit heavier. Again, we don't really know what we're doing. This is kind of like musky hunting. <laughs> We've caught a couple striper though. Used the graph, trolled up from the bridge, came up here. Think what we saw was a bunch of fish on this bank. So we're just gonna drift down, throw some big baits. Water's super dirty up here, but there are patches of clean and a little bit more stained water. Uh, we are fishing in 35 feet, just slowly drifting down this bank with the current. Well, I say slowly, but the current's actually kicking. We're seeing lots of fish on the graph, but I don't know if they're gonna bite since this water's so dirty, but I'd be happy with just one fish today. Here's the rig that I'm throwing. It's a Shane's Baits Alabama rig. This is the fifth element. I have five 3 8 ounce jig heads on here. And what I did was I cut the hooks off of three of them. And then for the two that I have hooks, I bent the barbs in. So we're legal. Woohoo! Now just looking for the striper. Dude, I'm going through shad. Yeah. I was about to set the hook. Time for old eel. No barbs. Here we go. Thanks again, Ty, for letting me borrow this rod. I would not be able to throw that bait on any of my other setups. Not even close. I'm gonna go back and fish Key Bridge. Okay. Or you just wanna keep drifting? We're at Key Bridge. Starting off with the A rig, gonna fish behind this big piling. Current's coming this way. Looked to be like a bunch of fish just stacked up behind it. Not 100%. Still learning how to read this graph. I've only had it for a year. <laughs> oh, I kinda wanna try bucktail on the bottom. Yeah, with all that bait that was just there, yeah. gotta get some. Throw your jerk bait over there. Something big just jumped right there. Biggins. Might have to stay on the Need your sea legs out here today. Woo! No echo. They're all along the bottom. Definitely seeing a lot of fish here on the bottom. Looking for one little bite. Wait. Look at all that, guys. It's awesome. 
think we're in the right spot. We're seeing a bunch of fish like this on the bottom. Haven't seen any of that bait though, till now. Oh, look, there, look at that. This is awesome. I can't, I have zero balance when I look up. <laughs> I lose all motor functions. <laughs> We just saw a bunch of fish suspended in about 10 to 15 feet of water over 30. So I picked up this Alabama rig, casting it out, counting it down to about 10 and then slowly reeling it back. I mean, there's a bunch of fish showing up on the graph here and no bites. Okay, we're going over towards the tidal basin. We're gonna fish a spot there and then call it a day. Oh my God. We just took like the roughest ride over here. They're like two foot rollers out here. Kind of soaked. That was wild. <laughs> Good work on the driving though. That was money. I wonder why here. What? Yeah, but what would he be looking for? About to throw a square bill. <laughs> got something. Got yeah, I got something. Ace is on. Striper? Is it big? No. Oh, it's a striper. It's a striper. <laughs> we got a striper. Whoop. Yeah, boy. Sweet. <laughs> Mission accomplished. First little baby striper coming on the underspin with a five and a half inch Kitek. I was like, yeah. something just bit that. <laughs> Tiny. One more. One more. <laughs> the whole thing was in his mouth. Get the net. Little baby striper. Oh, man, he was ready to go. Good work. Catch another one. This has got something. Yeah, we got one. We accomplished the goal. There's more. I bet if we run this wall, we'll keep getting them. Pretty close to 30 pounds. <laughs> Calling it a day. We went out to catch a striper that was 30 pounds and we were only 29 pounds away. Ace thankfully came through it. We're definitely going to be doing some more striper fishing during this 30 days, as well as some musky hunting too. So yeah. for those of you waiting for that, we're definitely planning some trips to do that. Uh, still skunkless so far on the 30 day fishing challenge. Thanks to my boy. Got one small one, but it's better than nothing. So. All the counts and in the last 15 minutes of the day. I think the water clarity had a lot to do with not catching any, catching anything. So we'll be out again when it's clear. Yeah. Hopefully the weather holds up. So. See you tomorrow. I just finished editing the striper video from yesterday and I realized that I really, really want to catch a 30 pound striper out of the Potomac River in the DC area. So what I want you guys to do for me, let me know the baits you guys would throw, let me know the kind of water you'd fish, like areas, different, I mean like rock, wood, bridge pilings, current. I don't know anything about striper fishing. I've caught them, you know, on purpose and by accident. Um, obviously a little bit easier to catch than a muskie, but yeah, I don't know much about these fish. Let me know what your favorite baits are to throw. I'm gonna pick some up and I'm gonna really try to target a gigantic striper. We're on another hunt, boys and girls.